Hello YouTube, this Skip, coming to you live, straight out of Real House 6 Aquatic Kennels. Right before you is my white and orange Midas smoke. And Miss Pearl is just behind that large stone in front of the flower pot. Now I had these two in this tank getting used to one another for a little over three weeks, divided. I lifted the divider a week ago because I had a good feeling that Smoke and Miss Pearl will make the perfect union, the perfect couple. Just for some reason they just look, they look like they was made for each other. And I guess my good feeling was accurate because I lifted the divider, like I said a little over a week ago, and there has been no scuffling, no fights, no nothing between these two. It has all been courtship. Now Miss Pearl is filling up with eggs, and I want to get one fish fact straight for you guys. I mentioned before in my other breeding tip videos about true pairs and establishing true pairs. This is one of the techniques I use to establish a true pair. If I get a feeling that two of my fish, male and female, make a good couple, I operate out of that feeling. And what I do first is divide them so they can get acquainted with one another, used to one another, eating in the same tank, swimming in the same water, but do not have full contact with one another. As you can see, Smoke grabs something to eat. So is Miss Pearl. I don't know why they're acting a little shy right here in front of the camera. If you see Smoke, he, he a little glass banger. His hump is coming up now. Well, he always have a hump. But it's getting a little bigger now as I guess they get closer to the drop point of laying eggs. But like I said, I want to get a fish fact across to you guys. And this is the perfect opportunity for me to, to do so. These two are now an established pair because they both respect one another. Miss Pearl can pretty much hold her own against Smoke. He's, a, he's slightly bigger than she is. So if he really wanted to go full out and take Miss Pearl out, he could. On top of that, Smoke was established in this tank well before Miss Pearl was. So you can see the respect level there. He's not bothering her. She can come out at will anytime she wants to. So they, they're considered an established pair, but they're not an established breeding pair. And that's because they have yet to breed. Once Miss Pearl starts showing her pearl colored bars, because that's her breeding dress, and it looks like she's gonna be showing them real soon, She's like a trimex, so to speak. The antelope is trimex. The female and male sometimes go from a green yellow color to a green yellow barred fish. They show their bars, their stripes come down when they're ready to breed. Sort of like that barred Midas over there. Miss Pearl does the same. She's a reverse barred Midas, but she only displays her reverse bars during breeding time or when she's laying eggs and she's protecting fry. So I'm sure that that is gonna come into play sooner than later. So I'll give you guys an update video on their breeding progress as they become and evolve into a breeding pair of Midas. Not just a pair, but a breeding pair of Midas. If Smoke successfully fertilized Miss Pearl's eggs, which I'm sure that would happen, I know she's going to lay eggs, and her eggs are valuable, because she has bred with many different studs. I've stirred her out to 
Slugger, of course you guys familiar with Slugger, my other big orange Midas. I sold him not too long ago because there's no more lead for Slugger. I have Smoke and a few other Midas. I bred her with Big Eagle. You guys are familiar with her. And if you, I mean, with him. And if you're not familiar with Big Eagle, you can go back and look at some past videos and see Eagle his debut here at Real Hard Cichlids. And I got a surprise about Eagle. I got an announcement about Eagle that I'm going to tell you guys later. But Eagle is not exactly what you think he is. He's in the Midas complex, but he's not the type of Midas that you may think he is by your eyes or visual. He's a little bit more. And we'll get into that in a later video. But right now, I just wanted to establish those fish facts and show you the difference between a breeding pair and a pair of cichlids. This is a pair now. They're trying to establish themselves as a breeding pair. So I hope you guys understood exactly the point that I was trying to get across. And if you have any questions, leave some comments at the bottom. And I'll be sure to answer your questions. Also, check me out on Facebook. Skip Smith is the name on Facebook. You can check out my videos. I've been doing a lot of uh, videos to supplement me not doing videos on YouTube. So you can check those out, past and present. The Skip. I'm out.